Last month, Alberto developed and tested an ingenious Apogee detection circuit that worked perfectly. Since I'm not very good with integrated circuits, I decided to make a variation of Alberto's circuit with off-the-shelf parts to keep construction simple and cost down. This simple setup consists of a reed switch, a steel ball, a double pole double throw ice cube relay, and a 9 volt battery. Here's how it works. The circuit looks like this. R1 is the relay coil and it has two normally open contacts. You can also see the reed switch and the ejection piston in this drawing. After the rocket takes off and the engine cuts out, the steel ball moves up to the top of the chamber. This closes the reed switch. When this happens, the relay coil is energized and the two normally open contacts close. When the top contact closes, it provides a secondary path of power to the relay coil. This way, from this point on, no matter what position the reed switch is in, the relay will remain latched. For a short time after the rocket reaches Apogee, the rocket and everything in it is weightless. At this point, the potential energy in the reed switch spring, even though it's very small, is enough to push back the steel ball. When this happens, a path to actuate the ejection piston is created and the ejection piston fires. This pushes out the nose cone and the parachute opens.